Kenneth Arnentrout could never do this before his heart transplant in 2015. And he could never have imagined this, holding his own 40-year-old congenitally diseased heart. It's gone, it's away from me, it's out of me, and now I have something that will actually help me to live and accomplish the things to take away the limitations that that heart gave to me before. It's a heart-to-heart -heart experience. <laughs> Holding their own hearts is surreal for these successful transplant patients and their families. I try to emphasize to them when I see them uh, that they're very special because there are only 2,200, 2,300 heart transplants a year in the USA. 73-year-old John Bell worried his personality would change living with another person's heart. The, the emotional part is, resides up here, not here. Every recipient expresses daily gratitude to their donors. And I feel like I owe it to the donor to do the best I can with what I've been given, that gift that I've received, so I want to take care of my heart. We've got to prevent this from happening. And we prevent it by happening by more and more of us taking better care of ourselves. If everybody in America lost 10 pounds, the health of this nation would skyrocket. I'm Marty Salt reporting.